right, EA have dropped a brand new pack on the store called the Team of the Week Reboot Pack. All right, I'm going to go straight in my mind. Can we get a good Team of the Week? Have you guys got a terrible team, no coins, and you want to buy some of the brand new players from the Foot Centurions promo? I'll go on then. Want to no further than MuleFactory.com? Go over there to get the cheapest, most safe, reliable coins and use the code NERDFIRE at the checkout for 5% off your order. Link is in the description down below. All right, I'm going to go straight in my mind. Can we get a good team of the week? Let's have a look. Obviously, 83 plus German goalkeeper. Trap on the front, 87. Can we get a good team of the week behind him? Let's have a look. Let's skip and see if we can. All right, come on. Anyone else good behind him? Oh, Gakpo and Lacazette. Okay, I mean, it's not bad. Realistically, Team of the Week's always going to be good fodder, so I'm probably going to keep them for that anyways. Not too bad. Let's open up some more packs. All right, now we've got a load of save packs as well, and after these save packs, we're going to go ahead and save, uh, sorry, send a base icon player pick as well. So I'm going to go through these. I'll show you if we get anything good. I'll show you the best packs as well, and let's get into it. And right, we got nothing out of the other packs, but we've got a 584 plus player pack here, and then after this, 384 plus player picks. We get a Team of the Week here on the front. France, I don't remember who's in the team of the week. It's going to be Kakare. Okay, anyone else good behind him? Come on, show me someone decent behind him. Sadly, oh, we do get actually a walkout, so not too bad in the end. All right, so here we go. We've got three 84 plus player picks from the winter wildcard swaps. Let's get them opened and let's see if we can get anything good. All right, first player pick. Can we see a full Centurions? Yes, we do. We get James Milner. Four star, four star James Milner. Not bad. I'll take that. That, that's a pretty decent looking card. He's definitely going to get tried out in game. That's not bad. All right, player pick number two. Can we get another Centurions? Make it two out of two. Sadly, they don't, but we do get a walkout in the port. So I guess at least it's decent fodder. All right, player pick number three. Can we end on another foot Centurions? Please. Ah, oh, we don't, but we do get another walkout. You know what? Overall, I'll take that. James Milner, not a bad looking card at all. I mean, I can't sell him, obviously. We're definitely going to have to try him out and see what he's like in game. That's decent. All right, and just like that, we have got our second base icon player pick. We're about to go ahead and send this now. We're going to flag reveal it and see who we get. If we get a decent nation like Brazil, we will stat reveal the player to see who it is. Let's get into it. All right, it's time to find out the nations. What nations do we see? Dutch... Croatian and England. Oh, no. I, don't, I mean, I already have Van Persie. I already own the English player, so I think that's Beckham or Rooney. And the Croatian is guaranteed to be Suka. So, realistically, we only have one to reveal, which is the Dutch. But it could be someone like Johan Cruyff. Let's just double check the other player. So, so I, the middle one is either Beckham or Rooney. Which one is it? It's going to be Rooney, which we've got in the last one. And the one on the right, I'm 90% sure, is Suka. Okay, so we know the other two. It's now time to stat reveal the Dutch icon. And can it be Johan Cruyff? All right, the only two I want here is either Cruyff or Hullet. Okay, physicals. Oh, I don't think this is looking promising. 78 physical. Pretty high physicals. And if it's Hullet, I think they're higher. I'm not going to lie. Because I think the strength is probably a bit higher as well. Next up is 83 defending. Okay, I think this might be a Ronald Koeman or something like that. I mean, dribbling's 82. So it's not the worst dribbling, I guess. Next up, we've got 86 passing. I still think it could be Coleman. I really don't have a clue right now, but we'll find out. All right, next up is shooting. What is the shooting? 80 shooting? Okay, maybe it could be. I don't know. This is where we find out. If it's 60 pace, it's definitely not Hullet. Oh, wait, it could be someone like Seydorf, actually. I didn't really think about that. It could be a Seydorf. All right, here we go. Here goes nothing for my second base icon player pick. Who is it? Oh, it is. It is base Rude Hullet. Oh, that's decent. I mean, I don't know what he's like in game, but I will take a base Hullet. That is not bad at all. Yeah, uh, whether I'll use him is a different story, but we're definitely going to have to try him out. That's not bad at all. And we can get a perfect link to his son who has the exact, not perfect link, but a link to his son who has the exact same stats. All right, success for icon player pick number two. All right, shout out to the man Donkey Kong in the Twitch chat. He's got a one of three base icon. We're going to flag reveal it again to see who he could get. Hopefully, we see some major flags. All right, the flags are appearing. Dutch, Brazil, and England. Okay, Brazil... And Dutch are the ones I'm focusing on here. We'll go through the England one first to see who it is. We'll just reveal the stats normally, and hopefully it can be someone good. All right, the English player, here we go. What stats are we seeing? 87 passing, 85 physical, 87 shooting, 59 defending. 
It's going to be Rooney again, right? That's not bad. Okay, that's not a bad starter one. Because the Brazilian one could be someone like Rivaldo, which isn't the greatest. And the, the Dutch one could be bad as well. But Rooney's not too bad. That's a decent starting point. We're going to go with the Dutch one first. Will it be a back-to-back -back Hullet? Could it be? That would be pretty impressive. We're going to normally stat reveal it this time, unlike the other stats. 86 passing. Is this Hullet again? I actually think this is Hullet again. Oh, my word. Okay. It's actually Rude Hullet again. This is a very good start. Player three. Can it be a major player as well to make this an incredible player pick? Right, I was going to properly stat reveal it, but we're going to go for the normal stats. Who's it? What is it going to be? Sorry, not who. What is it going to be? Oh, my God. Okay, 82 passing, 83 physical, 55 shooting, 86 defending. So it's the defender. 89 pace, 85 dribbling. It's Cafu. You know what? Overall, that there is a very solid icon pick. I mean, I don't even know what I'd take. It's either probably Hullet or Cafu that I'd go for. But who do you take? They're both very solid options. Oh, well, he ended the share play. So uh, we actually can't even see. Oh, well, hopefully he took something wise. I probably personally would have gone for Hullet, I think. Maybe Cafu though. If you need a right back, he's probably going to be a right back for the rest of the game. All right, we've got one more icon player pick. I think it'll be the last one to open up from my boy Thiago Reyes. But once again, I'm going to flag reveal it and we'll reveal it from bottom to top each card if they're a good nation. Let's see what you can get. All right, the nations are about to appear. Brazil, oh, Ghana and Czech Republic. Oh, that's not bad. Ghana is Essien and base Essien is already a dub to kick this off. Yeah, the middle one is definitely Essien. I don't think it could be anyone else. That's already a solid start. Like he's already very good. To the right, Czech Republic. It could be two players. It could be Nedved or Czech. We'll find out pretty much by the stats, I assume. So that is Petr Czech, which isn't great. But Essien is already incredibly solid. So can the Brazilian player better Essien? All right, here we go. Brazil. What are we going to see? Will it be a defender or will it be an attacker? 82 passing, 83 physical. I believe it is once again Cafu. Cafu is very common, but a very good card. But who do you take, Cafu or Essien? And he's decided to go with Cafu. Cafu is actually a bit more expensive. I just checked as well. And it's a very solid card. Like I said, you can keep this guy right back for most of the game. It's a very good card to have. There we go. Then that wraps up today's video on Foot Centurions Day 1. More base icon player picks and other packs as well. Like I always say, make sure you guys let me know in the comments below what you got from your packs and picks. Were they good for you? Were they bad? Did you do another base icon pick or not? But yeah, guys, anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy the video and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye. <laughs>